Hello everyone. This is Mike Pintar. This video will show my first attempt at a nocturne painting that I created in the studio. I recently traveled to Saint-Rémy in Provence, France and took several photographs as we wandered through the village streets one night. You can see that in my hand right now. <clears throat> I'm starting my initial block in uh, on a stretch canvas and uh, just working with some darker colors now to see if I can get uh, a general idea and feel for how the painting will lay out. Later on in the video I show you specific colors that I used. Primarily I, I stayed with very cool colors, blues, uh, some purples, and uh, some transparent red oxide. I'm still starting to block in uh, the dark areas, specifically the background. Uh, this street scene was composed of uh, a restaurant where people were out enjoying the warm evening and uh, eating at this restaurant. Across the street was a small retail shop and uh, it just set up for a really nice feel for uh, at least the atmosphere when I took the photograph that I'd like to put into a painting. Uh, there was one primary light source that was on the street corner, a street lamp, and uh, I'm painting around that right now so that will serve as the focal point for how the scene was to be lit. Um, as with any photograph, the uh, output from my print device didn't quite capture all the unique nuances of the lighting, but um, I still feel that it had a good uh, tone and good value scheme that allowed me to make this into whatever I wanted to, uh, primarily showing these people enjoying a nice evening meal at a uh, street corner. Uh, in southern France. As with most of my paintings, I do not use a medium and uh, I prefer to use paint straight out of the tube and just uh, my brushes uh, are dampened with OMS and then um, pretty much brought back to a dry brush stage by using a paper towel to get most of the uh, solvent out of the brush but it's still wet enough that it helps me move paint around I'm adding just a couple of mid-tone values in here to help establish the composition and uh, determine where my light source is going to impact the areas on the painting. Um, right in the front, the, uh, the street lamp is casting a light down on a couple of the diners uh, and the sidewalk. There is two umbrellas that uh, were still set up at night that I'm also going to use as part of the focal point and uh, they had waiters running in and out of the restaurant uh, this painting ultimately uh, will have one person put in to help create some variety and interest uh, within the scene itself just still blocking in the uh, there's a background building the retail shops <coughs> excuse me that uh, had some nice subtle lighting uh, still apparent and uh, lit up some a uh, couple vehicles that were uh, parked on the other side of the street that helped uh, create some some depth and interest that leads to the focal point that's going to be approximately left a center for this painting.
this point I'm changing the palette uh, a little bit. I'm going to go with a cobalt blue, trans red oxide, terra rosa, cad red, yellow ochre. Still got the uh, cad yellow out there, but uh, it's not mixed at this point. So I got a couple mid tones here, a couple darks, and added some titanium white just to see how that would tint out. So that's my approach right now. It's very gray, nighttime scene. I've got the computer out. Try to get the situation figured out here. So back at it. Well, what can happen with certain paintings that I don't feel too good about is uh, I need to start over. Uh, I've got a couple hours into this and it's just not panning out the way I had hoped. So what needs to be done has to be done. And uh, just put some OMS on a rag and start wiping it off. Uh, I've heard different artists say that they do that on a regular basis to help establish better composition and get their value schemes worked out more appropriately. Uh, I just was not happy with the way the painting was going while I still love the scene. Uh, I was struggling with this first nocturne on how to catch the uh, light just right and uh, make sure that it was going to be uh, a painting that I liked. So it wasn't going where I wanted to, so off we go. Uh, immediately, uh, my approach was to just wipe back some of the light areas and uh, try to establish a more definitive light source and get this feeling of a night scene more to my liking. Uh, at this point, uh, I do feel better already that uh, something happened during the wipe off that uh, allowed me to make a more dramatic shift in the values and help keep the darks dark and uh, get that light source with that lamp just enough where it was pointing uh, to the appropriate spots where I can bring in some lighter tones later on in the painting. So I'll... Uh, be quiet here for a couple minutes and watch how it uh, develops at in the end I think it turned out pretty good so enjoy and I'll comment a little bit later in the painting
All right, I've got uh, the darks uh, a little better established, and I'm still bumping those up that uh, uh, I like the way it's shaping up at this point. Got more uh, compositional items worked out. Uh, push that background back a little bit more, and uh, we'll start to focus on getting some of these mid-tones and highlights worked up. Uh, I guess part of my problem <clears throat> initially was that I was getting too many mids and lights introduced early in the process that uh, were making things not go as planned. Uh, you know, this first one for me was really tough. I, I didn't quite uh, uh, know where, where I was going or how to handle it. I had looked at a couple other uh, uh, videos on nocturnes and uh, yeah, you know what? It's all experimentation and trial and error. And who cares? Uh, this painting uh, currently is framed sitting in my own home. It wasn't for a client, but it was a good exercise for me in uh, trying to get a night scene uh, done. I know nocturnes are very popular on the plein air circuit right now. Um, I haven't been juried into any events. I do a lot of quick paints and plein air events here in central Florida. Um, but uh, it, it was fun in the end and uh, it helped me keep it loose and get that value range more tightened up uh, with a dark and light schema versus a lot of mid-tones. So we'll push into the final piece here and uh, Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, well this has been <laughs> my first nocturne and uh, a lot tougher than I thought. Uh, it took a while to get to this point and I'm still trying to decide if I like it. It's alright. I glazed um, some yellow, what was this here? Yellow oxide. Transparent yellow oxide. I glazed a little bit of that uh, with some Indian yellow over this to get that light glow. Uh, threw in a couple letters. Here was my reference photo. It was a lot, uh, lot more yellow. But uh, you get the general idea of what I had here and uh, what I wound up with. So anyway, Nocturne 101. Harder, harder than I thought. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like, subscribe and I'll throw up some more painting videos. Thanks.